Hey everyone, welcome back to UK Pro Reviewer. Today, we're diving into Amazon's latest Kindle offerings. Specifically the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. It's positioned between the standard Paperwhite and the high-end Oasis, but is it worth the extra £50? Let's find out. Amazon's 2021 lineup features four e-ink Kindles, the £71.99 Kindle, the £112 Paperwhite, the £152.99 Paperwhite Signature, and the £199.99 Oasis. Today, we'll be focusing on the Paperwhite Signature Edition and exploring the key differences that set it apart from the standard model. The first notable difference is the absence of lock screen ads in the Signature Edition. While you can pay an additional £16 to remove ads from the regular Paperwhite, the Signature Edition comes ad-free out of the box. Now, instead of ads, your lock screen displays the cover of the book you're currently reading, adding a nice touch to the experience. Moving on to the next feature, the Paperwhite Signature Edition boasts an automatically adjusting front light. This is a handy addition that adapts the brightness based on your surroundings. It's quite useful, especially when reading in different lighting conditions. Of course, you can still manually adjust the brightness on both Paperwhite models with just a couple of taps. Another upgrade in the Signature Edition is the support for wireless charging. While charging a Kindle doesn't need to be done frequently, having the convenience of wireless charging can be a game-changer for some users. Keep in mind, though, some charging cradles may interfere with the bottom-mounted power button. Lastly, the Paperwhite Signature Edition comes with 32GB of storage, four times more than the standard model. If you're an avid audiobook listener, this extra storage might come in handy. However, it's important to note that neither Kindle Paperwhite is ideal for listening to audiobooks due to their lack of a headphone jack. To wrap things up, the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition offers some additional features compared to the standard model. While the automatically adjusting front light and wireless charging are certainly useful, the absence of lock screen ads might not be worth the extra £50 for some users. It all comes down to personal preferences and priorities. If you're willing to invest more and seek a premium experience, the Kindle Oasis could be an option, even though it lacks wireless charging and USB-C. Alternatively, if you're open to exploring beyond Amazon's ecosystem, higher-end Kobo models might be worth considering. And that's it for our review of the Kindle Paperwhite Signature Edition. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button for more tech reviews and comparisons. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.